Welcome back to TCM this Sunday afternoon. I'm Alicia Malone, and I'm happy you're here to watch a wonderful Ernst Lubitsch comedy. This is from late in his career, a year after he made To Be or Not To Be. It's Heaven Can Wait from 1943. And this was Lubitsch's first official film with 20th Century Fox, and he was happy that studio head Daryl Zanuck gave him and his writing partner, Samson Rafelson, plenty of time to craft their screenplay. The inspiration came from a play by Laszlo Bus Fichetti called Birthdays, with Lubitsch and Rafelson using that as a springboard to create a story about a man entering hell and explaining his life and sins to the devil. As Lubitsch explained to Zanuck, the hero was a man only interested in good living with no aim of accomplishing anything or of doing anything noble. Zanuck wasn't so sure about making a movie with no real message to it, but luckily he gave it the green light, asking as a personal favour for Lubitsch to cast Don Amici in the lead as the so-called mild Casanova. Lubitsch and Rafelson had written the script with Frederick March in mind, but agreed to test Amici. And after his screen test, Lubitsch turned to Rafelson and said, we're in trouble. Rafelson was confused because Amici's test had been wonderful, but what Lubitsch had meant was that now he had no excuse, he had to cast Amici. And with this role, Don Amici gave one of his best, most charming and nuanced performances, playing a man over several decades of his life. In the role of his wife is Jean Tierney. This was just before her breakout film, Laura. And like Amici, Lubitsch encouraged a deep and touching performance from her. Also with Charles Coburn, Eugene Paulette, Spring Byington and Marjorie Maine, this is Heaven Can Wait. A nice nod to Ernst Lubitsch's 1934 film The Merry Widow in Heaven Can Wait with the use of the Merry Widow Waltz. And while Don Amici and Jean Tierney weren't part of Lubitsch's usual stable of actors like Maurice Chevalier and Jeanette MacDonald had been, they both gave fantastic performances here. Amici called Lubitsch dedicated, while Tierney gave him a different name, Tyrant. Lubitsch had thought Tierney had acted like she was in a daze in many of her previous roles, so to shock her out of a trance and into some emotional immediacy, he had shouted at her. This had the opposite effect, causing Tierney to be terrified of him. As she explained, I'm willing to do my best, but I can't go on working on this picture if you're going to keep shouting at me. Lubitsch replied, I'm paid to shout at you. But soon they were laughing about it all and became friendly, with Lubitsch promising to uh, tone it down a little. And speaking of emotional immediacy in actors, next Marlon Brando shows us how it's done in the Tennessee Williams play that made him famous. Stay with us.